A lot of people get this simple riddle wrong. Let's take a read through it and see how long it takes you to get the right answer. A man is looking at a portrait when someone asks whose picture he is looking at. He replies, brothers and sisters have I none, but this man's father is my father's son. So the question is, whose picture is the man looking at? This is a famous riddle from Raymond Smullyan, and it was actually featured in a bit by late comedian Norm MacDonald, who is regarded by many as one of the greatest comedians of all time, and if I had to make a pick personally, he would probably be my favorite. Interestingly, in the bit, which I'll tell you about later in this video, Norm actually gets the riddle wrong, though it was probably a deliberate choice just for the sake of the joke. Let's go through the solution then. What's your immediate thought to this riddle? Riddle, who is in the portrait. The most common mistake, I think, is for people to see my father's son and immediately think, well, that's obviously the portrait viewer himself, because he says he has no siblings, so his father's son is himself. And so, who is he looking at? He's looking at a portrait of himself. But of course, this neglects the rest of the words in the problem. Indeed, understanding that this phrase, my father's son, refers to the man viewing the portrait, let's say we call him Tom, so this is Tom's quote, Tom is looking at the portrait, his father's son is himself, it's Tom. So then we see that this sentence says, this man's father is Tom, the guy viewing the portrait. This man's father in the portrait is the guy viewing the portrait. Hence, the man in the portrait's father must be Tom, and so the man in the portrait must be Tom's son. So, he's looking at a picture of his son. Alternatively, we could sketch out a little doodle to make sure that we have arrived at the correct solution. Here's the man, and he's viewing a portrait, and there's somebody in the portrait. Now, Tom, in his sentence, refers to the father of the man in the portrait. So, we may draw this other guy up here, and he has this dad related relationship with the guy in the portrait. So that is this man's father, this man's father. Who is this man's father? Well, it's my father's son. So then we've introduced this new character of Tom's father when he says my father, that's Tom's father. So Tom's father, of course, has the dad relationship with Tom. And Tom says that the father of the man in the picture is the son of his own father. So we have that dad relationship as well. Now, since we know Tom has no siblings, his father can only be the dad to one person. Thus, this person must in fact be Tom. This person in our picture, of course, came from the phrase, this man's father. This man's father, we now see, is Tom. And so this man, the man in the picture, again, is Tom's son. In the book by Raymond Smullyan, where this riddle appeared, called Called what is the name of this book, he followed it up with this riddle, similar, but with different words. A man's looking at a portrait when someone asks whose picture he's looking at, and he replies, brothers and sisters have I none, but this man's son is my father's son. Once again, we ask, whose portrait is it? This is really easy to solve after having figured out the first one. Again, my father's son is the portrait viewer himself, Tom, because his father has no other children. So we we can read this as this man's son is me. If the man in the portrait's son is Tom, then the man in the portrait must be Tom's father. So it's a pretty simple riddle, but when people get it wrong, it's because they've got some of these words just a little twisted in their head, and so it can actually be quite difficult to convince them of the correct answer. Now, Norm MacDonald inserted this riddle into the middle of one of his comical stories. I'll leave a link to the bit in the description. However, for completeness, I'll do a poor rendition of the joke here for you. I have a crazy uncle named Jean Luke. He's a Frenchman and he lives in Canada. Sometimes he comes and visits me in New York. And one weekend I was very excited. Jean-Luc was taking the plane over to New York and as soon as he landed, he got in a cab to come visit me. And the cab driver said, hey Frenchman, do you like riddles? And my crazy uncle says, yes, yes, I love riddles. I do love riddles. Tell me, tell me. And the cab driver says, okay, Brothers and sisters have I none, but this man's father is my father's son. Who is the man? And my uncle says, oh, oh, I, I do not know, I do not know. And the cab driver says, it's me, it's me. 
And my uncle says, oh, wow, such a good riddle, such a magnificent riddle. I have to go home right now and tell my wife, Mary Claire, she will love this riddle. And the cab driver says, what? You want to go home right now? And my uncle says, yes, yes, take me back to the airport. I will fly home right now. And so my uncle gets on a plane and he goes all the way back up to Gaspé in Quebec. He barges through the door and says, Mary Claire, Mary Claire, come, I have the greatest riddle. You just must hear it. And she says, oh, oh, how is New York? How is New York? He says, forget about New York. You have to hear this riddle. And he says, brothers and sisters, have I none? But this man's father is my father's son. Who is the man? And Mary Claire says, oh, oh, I do not know. I do not know. And my uncle says, it's some cab driver back in New York. <laughs> you must fake twisting to escape this. Driving on a mop, mop, my wrist if you can break it. Breaking in my past, I'm making it up fast. So slow down, give me the time so I can fake it. Race it to move words and just how I say shit. And let me speak my poetry to your face. It's not in the mid if you ain't listening. Not infinite if you ain't really in the head.